You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're dreaming make it. There's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Welcome everybody to SmackDown Live. I hope you all are having a great day so far and that you're ready for more Universe Notes here in WWE 2K19. Today we are going to be wrapping up the Money in the Bank qualifying matches for both the men's and the women's ladder match. Money in the Bank is about two or three weeks away at this point. We have some other stuff planned the following week, so let's get this underway now. So, kicking off this episode of SmackDown Live, we have the final the women's qualifying match. Last SmackDown superstar to, to qualify will either be Alicia Fox or her opponent Alicia. today. Let's see who. Foxy will be taking on in this opening matchup. Alright, it looks like it's going to be another veteran here on Smack Alive in Natalia. Last time we saw Natty, she was taking on Asuka in Asuka's main roster debut several weeks ago. It's been a month at this point, I guess. Natalia put up a fight, got taken down by Asuka and give Natalia a shot at being in the women's ladder match at Money in the Bank. We're going to jump right into this matchup, wasting no time here today. Alicia Fox versus Natalia, two big-time veteran, and Natalia takes the legs out from under Alicia Fox with that drop kick. Natalia definitely wants a chance at becoming Miss Money in the Bank. Crucifix show up right off the bat and now Alicia kicks out quickly. Natalia being a little bit more aggressive than she usually is. And a discus clothesline right off the bat. That may be it for Alicia Fox not even getting any offense in. And Natalia going right into the sharpshooter. Has a lock in Alicia Fox, middle of the ring, nowhere to go. And just like that, Natalia taps out Alicia Fox to get that final spot in the women's Monday Night Ladder match. I think she might have just broken Austin's record for fastest match here in Universe Mode, especially this year. But Natalia is the final person, and Alicia Fox going to attack Natty, but she saw it coming there. Lisa Fox not happy about that quick loss. We're going to move into tonight's main event. Alright guys, main event time here. Smack on live. The final men's money link qualifying match out first. The Viper, Randy Orton. We haven't seen him yet in 2K19. We saw him all throughout 2K18. He had rivalries with Neville, Baron Corbin, you name it. The veteran Randy Orton. And basically done it over his career except for becoming Mr. Money in the Bank so we're going to give Viper a shot at qualifying for the ladder match we're going to find out who his opponent is here momentarily but if you guys remember from a couple weeks ago after announcing the whole Neville situation The Undertaker revealed that in Neville's place Smash Life has signed someone and he also mentioned he was going that, that someone was going to be in the final money that qualifying match. So Randy's opponent this evening will be that new signing. We'll be finding out here in mere seconds who that is. Speculations have been running wild since that announcement. And the crowd very excited as it is none other than the returning Ray Mysterio. He has not been in the WWE in several years. And on top of 
being signed in the place of Neville with more or less a counter for SmackDown to Raw's recent signing of Bobby Lashley that we saw recently as well. So again, Raw and SmackDown still kind of going at it casually. Raw signs a new superstar, not necessarily new, but Raw signs a superstar. SmackDown has an immediate counter for it. So Edge and The Undertaker still kind of going back and forth toe to toe with each other in the general manager role since last year. So the ultimate underdog Rey Mysterio taking on the Apex Predator Randy Orton in the final qualifying match for the men's ladder match at the pay-per-view in a couple weeks. Step up in Seguri by Ray right off the bat. Catches Randy off guard there momentarily hits him with a drop kick. Ray taking immediate control. These two have clashed in the past on several occasions. And Ray bringing it, bringing his A game tonight as he flips out of the backdrop suplex by Randy. Kick to the leg. Follows that up with a kick and a strike to the midsection. Randy has yet to get any offense in. It looks like Mysterio has not missed a step. Leaps over the Viper. Arm drag takedown. Ray. Double foot stomp. Second rope. Splash there by Mysterio. I don't think. Randy Orton, there you go. Bit of offense there by the Viper. I don't think he was expecting. One, that Rey Mysterio would be that new signing. And two, that he'd be in a trouble early on. A drop kick to the inner thigh by Rey Mysterio. Again, Rey hasn't been in the WWE in several years. And he's just picking up right where he left off. Spinning heel kick takes the Viper down. And Ray, very good at getting the crowd right behind him. Kick to the five there by Randy Orton. Goes for a move there. Perk and Rana take down by Mysterio. Just a big right hand by Randy. Kick to the gut by Mysterio. And Randy showing off his strength. Fall away slam. Planting Rey Mysterio back first. Arm drag takedown. Randy to one knee. One punch puts him in the corner. I want to chop right to the chest. Rey with the athleticism and a guided missile drop kick there. Big right hand though, Rey gets blocked. Randy. Going after the left arm, but some elbows to the face by Mysterio. Gets himself out of that predicament. Spinning heel kick again to the Viper. Big right hand from Randy. Ray sent into the corner. Put up top into the tree of woe. And a foot right to the throat there by Randy Orton. And just Haunting and trash talking Mysterio. Randy with the clothesline. No, Ray ducks the second one. Kicks and strikes again. By, in my opinion, the best cruiserweight this company has ever produced. As Ray. Bulldog takes down the Viper again. Randy stunned. He may even possibly be hurt following that. Bulldog. Blocks the uppercut. Mysterio continues the offense. Goes for another uppercut, but Ray backs up. Now he's into the corner. Puts Randy in the corner instead. Goes for a splash, but the Viper sidesteps it. And these two can know each other very, very well. Going move for move, counter for counter. Kick to the midsection by Ray Mysterio again and drop kick to the back. Elbow to the face by Randy. Mysterio sent into the corner. Catches the kick. Next drop there by Mysterio. And fast paced action by these two veterans. Cross body 
from the second rope by Mysterio. Sends Orton into the corner. Kick drops him down. Goes for that drop kick again, but Randy had it scouted that time. And Ray up against the ropes. Randy using the ropes as a slingshot to launch Mysterio halfway across the ring. And uh oh, uh, we know what this is. Elevated spike, DDT vintage Randy Orton. And just like that, the Viper turns the momentum into his favor, but again, arm drag takedown by Mysterio. Turns it around. Mysterio picks him up. Big right hands by Mysterio again, stunning Randy. Pulled out of the way of that kick. Getting out of that move. Here's Rey Mysterio, big forearm to the face by the Viper. Goes for an RKO, but no Rey. Spinning heel kick instead. And we all know that RKO could come out of nowhere, but Rey saw it coming a mile away. Randy telling Mysterio to come on and continue coming at him. Maybe Randy has a and kick to the midsection of Mysterio. Clothesline there by the Viper once again. Mysterio picked up. Going for a standing slam there. Standing suplex rather. Ray smart move to roll out of the ring both men. Catching their breath for a moment. Now this fight going outside of right after the leg. Takes out the base of Randy Orton. Creates an opening where Mysterio can get back into the ring and catch a breather. Randy back in now. And again going for the spike DDT. Orton looking to put Mysterio away once and for all. And Mysterio caught up in the ropes a bit following. The signature move. Randy with the cover. One, two, and no, Mysterio kicks out again. Randy cannot believe it, yelling at the referee. Ray to one knee. And a reversal there by Randy once again. Ray with a left hand. Clothesline takes the Viper out. This crowd fired up. Ray up top, going for the splash, but no, Randy got the knees up just in time. Mysterio tosses him. The referee's count continues with that three. Randy not really moving, he's near the steel steps, Ray going after him. Now. The Viper starting to stir a bit on the outside and driven into the steel ring steps by Mysterio. Ray up top again. High rent district and oh my god, RPO on the outside. Randy possum. Mysterio in and hits the RKO on the outside, crashing right into the floor. The Viper going to that place again. No Ray fighting out. I don't even know how Ray is still conscious. His face and chest burst into the floor as he's able to down Randy again to get back into the ring. No freeze count continue, but Ray breaks it up. Tosses Randy back in. And when it comes to resiliency, Ray is. One of the most resilient superstars of all time as he sets the Viper up for the 619. Springboard, leg drop following it up into the pin. One, two, three, and Rey Mysterio in his return puts the Viper down and qualifies for the Money in the Bank ladder match. That was one heck of a match if I still, that's going to boggle my mind for a while how Ray was able to recover quickly from the outside RKO from the top rope but Mysterio 
proving why he is one of the best of all time. Huge, huge victory in his return. Randy brought out the best in Mysterio, but Rey Mysterio is victorious through the end smack lab. If you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I hope you all have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll see everybody tomorrow on NXT.